I'm excited to talk about the Bitcoin price today. Make sure to stick around to the very end because 99% of you guys are going to fall for the trap. With that said, guys, hit the like button, subscribe for daily Bitcoin analysis. This is DC Trading. Let's get right into it. As you guys can see on the weekly time frame for the EMA, it is clear we're seeing a reversal and the bulls right now are trying to push for a reversal as you guys can see we are sitting in the high 22,000s, which is a good sign now if we take a closer look at the bitcoin liquidations what do we see here in the last 24 hours well guys 103 million dollars liquidated but this was on long positions so right now we can clearly see that the bulls and bears are fighting right now for position because if we take a closer look at this indicator which is the crypto fear and greed indicator it is showing us a 50 meaning neutral this means the bitcoin price can go either way we can see a pump or dump it all depends on who wants it more the bears or the bulls now if we take a closer look right here on the two hour time frame we are creating a a sort of bear or not bearish a bullish pendant flag which means we may see another pump to the upside how high can we go well if we take a look at the weekly time frame right here we already passed through this important level of resistance which was a 22,300 the next level of resistance is around the 25,000 so the chances that we see a bitcoin price of 25,000 is a 50 50 just because right now we have been holding above very steady and very strong for the past couple days as you guys can see on the daily time frame of the ema it is clear we are bullish on the ema but to be realistic guys we are going to need to see a pullback or a correction if we want to see a healthy price level guys or price movement what do i mean by this well sooner or later we're gonna have to see the price of bitcoin head back down to 20,000, retest it and then from there we can see if this is an actual legit you know reversal so right now everyone's all hyped everyone got in their profits everyone already invested this is why the price of bitcoin has been very steady and hasn't been very active compared to the other days so we need to be careful guys because as you guys can see the greed is neutral meaning it can go either way so right now i would just lay back sit back don't enter any trades don't enter long positions or short positions because as you guys can see the past 24 hours people have been liquidated 57 percent of the time and 103 million dollars liquidated this is why guys don't fall for the trap right now just wait and see uh right now it's very it's a 50 50 because if you look at the two hour time frame volume is very low but somehow the price has been steady and holding above twenty two thousand dollars it went as low as twenty two thousand three hundred but bounced back up as you're, as you guys can see we are creating this uptrend but also right here we're heading down as well which is creating a bullish pendant so the next 24 hours will be interesting to see what happens next. Also, we have some specific dates you guys need to look for, which is going to come up very soon on the 26th. Apple, was it Apple? Yes, Apple is going to be releasing their quarter four reports, will, which will dictate what happens with the S&P 500. And then the that will ultimately affect the crypto market so you guys need to look out for that as well as january 31st through february 1st which is the fomc meeting deciding the interest rate hikes this will totally affect the bitcoin price this is why right now i would suggest everyone to lay back relax enjoy the profits you guys took and just wait to see what happens next because as i said sooner or later we're going to have to see a pullback or correction if we want a healthy pump for the price of bitcoin that's just the truth now looking right here guys it's very clear it's on the weekly time frame we still have room for the you know for a pump looking at the rsi we are sitting at an rsi strength of 56 so it's not overbought right now so as i said on the weekly time frame it does look bullish and we it looks like we still have room for another pump possibly to 25,000 but looking at the daily time frame guys 
right here, volume is very low right now, and we have been sticking very high for the past couple days. Now, if we look at the RSI on the, the daily time frame, it is clearly oversold. As you guys can see, we're sitting around 85, meaning this is oversold. So which this might mean that for the next couple days, maybe a couple weeks, we're going to see the price of Bitcoin steady consolidate around the 22,000 being very boring. And then once the big news, the FOMC meeting and the quarter four reports of Apple come out, we're going to see a Bitcoin disruption either to the upside or downside. This is why, guys, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for daily Bitcoin analysis, because I will keep you guys updated right now every single day on the Bitcoin price. Now, overall, guys, it looks very bullish, but as I said, the, the greed is at 50, meaning it's neutral. And on the daily time frame, it looks like we have reached the top for now, but on the weekly, it does look like we do have another room for a pump. But as I said, it's not always going to be green. So we may see for the next couple days, maybe weeks, the price of Bitcoin consolidate around the 22,000 being very boring until these specific dates come out and then we will see a disruption in the price of Bitcoin. Now looking at the weekly time frame, it is very clear it is starting to reverse. As you guys can see, the EMA lines are reversing to the upside as you guys can see. And if we want an actual reversal, we need the price of Bitcoin to pump to $25,000. Now, in the comments, let me know down below what you guys think. Will we hit 25000 in the month of January? We have less than two weeks before the end of January. Let me know in the comments down below. But with that said, guys, make sure you guys go check out my previous video I did on XRP and Bitcoin. Yes, right here, guys. I talk about the traps and what is next for XRP as well as Bitcoin. Also, make sure to go vote on the polls that I post every single day. I just want to see your guys' response. But to also let you guys know, yes, I did enter the market. I put $2,000 into a few cryptocurrencies. I'm going to let you guys know. So during this pump, I actually did put $2,000, some of it into Cardano, some of it into Mana, Sand, VeChain, and Ocean Protocol. I did it just in case, you know, the price of Bitcoin continues to the upside and we see a reversal just in case. I'm waiting right now for a confirmation, as I said, for the twenty-four or $25,000 price and a cross between the EMA 20 and the EMA 55 so I can enter the market fully. But with that said, guys, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, check out this video right now very important go check it out right now with that said peace